Hi there, my name is Dr. Marissa May. In this video, we're gonna solve a linear inequality and I'm gonna graph the solution on a number line. And then using that graph, I'm gonna write an interval notation. So let's solve the inequality first. I love that inequalities are solved very similar to equations. So you'll notice that I begin by subtracting by four on both sides. And that's because I saw the X plus four in the inequality. Next, we'll divide by three on both sides so that X is less than two. Now, when we graph on the number line, we ask ourselves, do we put an open or a closed circle at two? Because there's no equal to underneath that inequality, I know it's gonna be an open circle at two. If it had an equal to underneath it, I would have closed that circle just by coloring it in. Then we ask ourselves, do we want the numbers to the left of two or do we want the numbers to the right of two? Since X is less than two, it, notice it's almost pointing to the left. So I would shade to the left of two on my number line. Now that we've done the graphing, let's take a look at the interval notation. When you write an interval, you must write the left side of this interval and the right side. So when you look at our shading here, what value is out here on the left? It's a trick question. There's actually no value out there because it keep, the shading keeps going. To say this then we say negative infinity is the left bound of this interval. And we use a comma. Now we'll tell the right bound for this inequality, for the shading, and this is at two. Now we need some symbols. Parentheses are always used for infinities, whether positive or negative, we always use a parentheses. And then for an open circle, we always use a parentheses as well. So if you have a less than or greater than, you're going to use parentheses. If you have a less than or equal to, or a greater than or equal to, you will use a bracket. Those look something like that. Okay, so parentheses, if you don't have the equal to, bracket, if you do have the equal to, and infinities, always get a parentheses.